All right, so I just finished this Tetris that I've been working on for a while, and uh, this is actually going uh, to a client. This is a commission, and I have to deliver it to him, but because of the COVID p pandemic, um, I'm literally just gonna drop it off at his uh, doorstep, and I'm gonna create this little video here so he knows all the different features, and I thought other people might wanna see it too. So I'm just gonna run through some of the features and how to use uh, different things, and you'll see. All right, so in the back, um, there's a power outlet here, and this is great because you can remove the power cable. You can use any of normal computer power cable. It goes in there. And what's good about this is it has a fuse and a noise filter built into it, which is all stuff that would take up room in a big arcade. So it's good that it fits into there. And then there's power switch. Just flip that on to start it up. All right, so it has a normal uh, coin door here with one Mac. Sometimes I put two on them, but this one has one. Uh, normal key, open it here. And this is all very simple. You just have the the light, 12 volts to the light, and then you have uh, the, your switch down here for credits. If you ever want to just give yourself free credits, you can just flip that little switch there. Um, that's connected to the main harness with a four pin Molex connector if you ever need to take that off. All right, so now we're at the back of the game here. Um, same thing, key to open up the back, and there's a handle here to open it. This is not to lift the machine. This is simply just to open the, game, the door. Um, in the back you can see the power supply. Here's a dimmer. For, this is the dimmer for the marquee light up at the top. Um, you have your power supply down here, the back of the monitor. Um, the thing I wanted to show here is that for a lot of games to put it into free play you got to flip a switch on the board which is up here. So I'm going to show the way that you do that is you take your arm <laughs> like this and you go up like this into here and you can fit your hand right here and there's a little switch on the board that you can click right there and if you come around to the front that puts you into this menu system here and what you can do is it goes right to the button test so you can test your buttons but you can use the start buttons uh, sorry use the rotate button to go through all of these different options and it'll just keep rotating all the way through them and so it just repeated. And so if I go to, to this one right here, coin options, you can go down to bonus adder. A, you can set how many coins it takes for a credit, but you can go down to bonus adder and you, do, you select that by using your left joystick, your right until you get to bonus adder, and then use your right joystick, right, and it gives you these different options and you keep going till free play. So once you get that on free play, then you can hit start, or sorry, hit rotate again. That puts you to the next screen, that saved it, and then we're good. It's on free play now. So now if I go back, stick my hand up the thing like I showed you before, flip it back off right there, boom. And now it's uh, back on, and it's on free play. Easy as that. Okay. Um, the other thing to show in the back here is where the volume is. So same thing, I reach my hand up, there's the little switch for the options button that gets you into the menu, and there's a little potentiometer wheel right here towards the end over here, and you can put it, you go uh, counterclockwise to make it really loud, clockwise to bring the volume back down. And that's how you control the volume. All right, so the other things I wanted to show are the control panel and also this marquee section. So there's a, a hinge here, and this marquee actually comes down, this thing comes down like this to get the marquee out. It's also where the speaker is. And you see there's two screws, one right here and here, and those are T15 security screws, and that has a weird star bit with a dot in the middle. Um, and that's how you get those out, T15. And same thing on the control panel here, there's four screws. And those are the same T15 uh, machine screws. And you can simply uh, put that in there and take these out. There's threaded inserts in there that's going into metal. So it's uh, very secure and I'll never, you can take those out. It's, they're not like wood screws. They're not gonna um, eat away the wood. So those are super solid. And then don't tighten these too much. Just snug is, is all you need. And same thing with these ones. 